In the beginning stages of your data science project, using dependency management tools like PIP or Conda may be sufficient. However, as a data science project expands, the number of dependencies also increases. This can make it difficult to reproduce the project's environment when relying solely on PIP or Conda. To address these challenges, Poetry, an open source library, provides a powerful tool for creating and maintaining Python projects. In this video, we will delve into the advantages of Poetry and highlight its key distinctions from PIP and Conda. Having a broad selection of packages makes it easier for developers to find the specific package that best suits their needs. Conda has a limited number of packages. Some packages, like SNS Scrape, cannot be installed with Conda. Additionally, certain versions, such as Pandas 2.0, might not be available for installation through Conda. While you can use pip inside a Conda virtual environment, Conda cannot track dependencies installed with pip, making dependency management challenging. Pip and Poetry can install any packages from the Python package index and other repositories. Reducing the number of dependencies simplifies the development process. Conda provides full environment isolation, managing both Python packages and system level dependencies. This can result in larger package size compared to other package managers. To illustrate this, we will install pandas in a new Conda environment and list all packages installed in this environment. We can see that a lot of these packages are not pandas dependencies. Pip and Poetry install only the dependencies required by a package. Uninstalling packages and their dependencies free up disk space and prevents unnecessary clutter. Pip removes only the specified package, not its dependencies, potentially leading to the accumulation of unused dependencies over time. Conda removes the package and some of its dependencies, but not all dependencies. Poetry removes the package and all of its dependencies. Dependency files specifies the exact versions or version ranges of required packages. To save dependencies in a Conda environment, you need to manually write them to a file. Let's assume that we are using Pandas version 1.3.1. If a new user tries to reproduce the environment when the latest version of Panda is 1.5.3, Pandas 1.5.3 will be installed instead. If the codebase relies on syntax specific to Pandas versions 1.3.1 and the syntax has changed in versions 1.5.3, running the code with the new version of Pandas would introduce bugs. The same problem can occur with pip. Imagine the requirements .txt file looks like this. Now let's create and activate a virtual environment and install dependencies from the requirements .txt file. You can see that Pandas 2.0 is installed. Of course, you can pin down the version by freezing them in a requirements .txt file. However, this makes the code environment less flexible and potentially harder to maintain in the long run. Any changes to the dependencies would require manual modification in the requirements.txt file, which can be time-consuming and error-prone. Poetry automatically updates the pyproject.tom file when installing a package. This flexible versioning approach ensures that your project can adapt to newer releases without manual adjustment. The poetry doc log file stores the precise version numbers for each package and its dependencies. This guarantees consistency in the installed packages. Here we can see that pandas 1.5.3 is installed instead of pandas 2.0. By separating the dependencies, you can clearly distinguish between the packages required for development purposes from the packages needed for the production environment. This ensures that the production environment contains only the necessary packages for running the application, reducing the risk of conflicts. 
Honda doesn't inherently support separate dependencies for different environments, but a workaround involves creating two environment files, one for the production environment and one for development. The development file contains both production and development dependencies. BIP also doesn't directly support separate dependencies, but a similar approach can be used with separate requirement files. To install the production dependencies, type pip install requirements.txt. To install both types of requirements, type pip install requirements.dev.txt. Poetry simplifies managing dependencies by supporting groups within one file. To illustrate this, we will add numpy and pandas to the main group and pytest and precommit to the development group. We can see that both groups of dependencies are added to the pryproject.tom file. This allows you to keep track of all dependencies in a single place. To install only production dependencies, type poultry install only man. To install both development and production dependencies, type poultry install. Updating dependencies is essential to benefit from bug fixes and new features introduced in newer package versions. Conda allows you to update only a specified package. For example, if we want to update pandas and scikit-learn, we need to run the command conda update for each package. Afterwards, you need to manually update the environment.yaml file to keep it sync with the updated dependencies. Pip also only allows you to update a specified package and requires you to manually update the requirements.txt file. With Poultry, you can use the update command to upgrade all packages specified in the pryproject.tom file. This action automatically updates the poultry.log file, ensuring consistency between the package specifications and the log file. Dependency conflicts occur when packages required by a project have conflicting dependencies. BIP installs packages sequentially, which means it installs each package one by one. For example, suppose you install pandas 2.0.2, which requires numpy greater than or equal to 1.20.3. Later, you install numpy equal to 1.20.2 using PIP. Even though this will create dependency conflicts, BIP We'll proceed to update the version of NumPy. Conda uses a SAT solver to explore all combinations of package versions and dependencies. For instance, if an existing package has a specific constraint for its dependency and the package you want to install doesn't meet that requirement, Conda won't immediately raise an error. Instead, it will diligently search for compatible versions of all the required packages and their dependencies, only reporting an error if no suitable solution is found. While this approach enhances the chances of finding a solution, it can be computationally intensive, particularly when dealing with extensive environments. By focusing on the direct dependencies of the project, Poultry's deterministic resolver narrows down the search space it evaluates the specified constraints and immediately identifies any conflicts. To demonstrate this, let's install a specific version of Seaborn that requires matplotlib version 3.1 or higher. If we attempt to install a version of matplotlib that falls outside of this required range, Seaborn will promptly throw an error. This immediate feedback allows developers to address the problem early in the development process. For example, in this case, we can relax the requirement for Seaborn to enable the installation of a specific version of matplotlib. In summary, Poultry provides several advantages over PIP and Conda. Firstly, Poultry provides access to a wide range of packages. Secondly, Poultry installs only the necessary dependencies. Thirdly, Poultry simplifies the removal of packages and their dependencies. Lastly, Poultry efficiently resolves dependencies and addresses any conflicts promptly. Efficient dependency management 
is just the initial step in constructing a maintainable data science project. To ensure long-term maintainability, it is crucial to avoid hard coding. In this next video, you will learn how to use a configuration file to eliminate hard coding in your next Python project.